This is a tantalizing style matchup because both men are big punchers. Pacquiao is a headhunter. Lucero is a body punisher. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Grand Olympic Auditorium here in downtown Los Angeles, California, where tonight, Main Events is proud to present an evening of professional boxing for your entertainment. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest will be Gwen Adair, James Bagshaw, and Max Luca. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Jose Copian. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gold, blue, and gray, officially weighing 121 and one quarter pounds. His professional record, 21 victories, including 12 knockouts, and he has one bout even. He's now fighting out of the Bronx in New York, but he is originally from Ciudad de Mexico, Damas y Caballeros. Here is the undefeated challenger, Emmanuel out of the red corner, wearing red, trimmed with black. He officially weighs 120 pounds. His professional record, 36 victories, including 27 knockouts with only two defeats and one draw. From General Santos City, Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, the defending IBF Junior Featherweight Champion of the World, Manny Pacquiao. We have an order to give you previous instructions of the dressing rooms. Do you have any questions? That's your blocks that come back with the bell. Good luck. Manny Pacquiao is uh, one of the rare southpaws that's fun to watch. Although Lucera undoubtedly will have a, a different perspective on that. Yeah, Larry, I think uh, Manny Pacquiao is one of the best fighters in the world pound for pound. What I've saw, we can do a little bit of everything. Lucero gets low and tries to get to the body. Swings wide, but with force. Pacquiao is a devastating over-the-top puncher who's best when he remembers to throw his jab, but often forgets and just engages toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Part of Pacquiao's job here, Emmanuel, is to remember to box, but he's basically been separated from trainer Freddie Roach for 13 months. How can Roach get him to do what he needs him to do with virtually no contact with the fighter? Well, the fact that he's worked with him before will help somewhat, but in addition to not being working with Freddie, which he should have, he's been getting in a lot of trouble and not training properly, according to the reports we've been getting from the Philippines. Which he denies, uh, we should uh, point out. There was yes. a report of one barroom brawl, and, and Pacquiao said, oh, no, no, just a couple of beer bottles that broke, <laughs> apparently without help. Well, if you read between the reports, which I'm quite sure we did, I believe there's some truth to some of that. Lucero, Lucero gets off a moment with Pacquiao pinned in the corner, and the crowd responds. Lucero, originally from Mexico City, will have the support of this largely Mexican-American audience in the Olympics. <laughs> Very unusual to have a Mexican that comes from New York. But nevertheless, he is a Mexican, and the Mexican crowd has responded tremendously to him, even though Pacquiao trains here in Los Angeles. Pacquiao trying to generate a rhythm in round one. He's having a problem getting close to Lucero, but Lucero's getting so low, but then he can't operate too effectively himself from that position without telegraphing. Now Pacquiao manages to land the straight left hand. Hasn't made his jab effective so far. It's going to be difficult to do that if Lucero continues to fight in this exaggerated crouch. Yeah, it's almost like a crowd where he's dropping at extremely low. And actually, according to the rules, you're not supposed to go below your opponent's waistline, which he's did on a few occasions. Now Pacquiao straightens him up with a left hand, and Pacquiao pins him against the ropes. Lucero trying to duck everything. He's ducking, but he can't operate too effective himself from down there. Oh, there's, 
it's impossible to mount a counter offense when when that's your defensive strategy is to to get that low. That's right, and I think Packer was starting to get his just uh, distance on down. defensive hasn't thrown that many punches in the second half of the round as we go to the corners Kyle in the first round simply uh, dealing with a case of nerves he's never been in a fight against a major fighter copy box numbers in round one Pacquiao landing 16 out of 64 including seven of 29 jabs Lucero was only five of 41 if Manny can keep finding a way to throw nearly 30 jabs in the round I'm not sure how Lucero is going to get at him effectively, Emmanuel. No, Lucero can't do too much effectively, and especially when it comes to throwing combinations. When you crouch that low, you can basically spring with one punch, and after that, you've lost your balance usually. Lucero was supremely confident in his discussions with us yesterday. May have underestimated the hand speed of Pacquiao, as some opponents do. Yeah, Pacquiao's got a lot of experience. Don't forget, he's a two-time world champion. And he's had a lot of experience. And he's gradually following instructions of his cornerman, Freddy Roach, which is basically to jab, take your time, relax, and trigger his man out. I don't think he's going to be able to hit him to the body that effective, though. Pacquiao taking advantage of a slow break at the end of that clinch to hit Lucero with a left hand over the top. Seems to have momentarily stunned Lucero. Now Pacquiao tries to continue the attack. As the fight goes on, Lucero's going to pull his head up more and more because he's going to find himself very much out of the fight when he's bobbing and weaving that low. Well, not to mention that it, it's going to be physically exhausting for him to try to stay down yes, in that will. crouch. Absolutely. Here's a three-punch combination by Lucero, one of the first multiple punch combinations he's tried in the fight. Lucero's hands look slow in this round. Body shot by Pacquiao and a big left hand. Again with the body. Lucero just taking the punishment and trying to duck away. And it's very physically tiresome when you're bobbing and weaving that low also. Everything that's happening on top of your back and on your shoulders tires you out a lot more. Lucero won a lot of amateur fights with this style. Golden Gloves Championships, New York State Amateur Championships. He must have just overwhelmed people. When you have a guy fight punch swinging like that, the best thing, make him miss completely. That's where he loses his balance. You don't block his punches. You just let him miss completely. Pacquiao lands the straight left hand again. Fight has been one-sided in terms of meaningful contact as virtually all of the real scoring blows have been landed by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, argues that his 122-pound fighter struggling to make weight would be a threat to knock out 126-pound kingpins Eric Morales and Marco Antonio Barrera. Your take? I think he would definitely be a threat for both of those guys. So we're not hearing from interpreter Ernie Kalua for the moment. Copy box numbers in two. Pacquiao, great round. 31 out of 66. Lucero, virtually non-existent. Four out of 42. Pacquiao landing nearly 60% of his power shots through the first two rounds. And there's more accurate punching from Manny Pacquiao against a pretty tough target to find. Finally, Lucero gets in a counter left. Even if Lucero lands a punch, it may look impressive the way he swings. I don't think it's going to hurt Pacquiao because you can see it coming. Punches that you see coming don't hurt you. The punches that you don't see that hurt you. Now, you can tell when Pacquiao's supremely confident. He fights with a little smile on his face, and he's been grinning through most of the first two rounds here. Feeling as though he's in control yeah. against yeah. Emmanuel Lucero. And after that punch, good punch, good punch, he is totally in control, and the referee instantly stops the fight. He was out on his feet with a punch that landed right on the point of the jaw. Jose Cobian taking no chances whatsoever. No count. Immediate knockout on a punch 
that didn't even send Lucero to the canvas, but you saw the, the leaping response. The legs, yeah. I, I would have probably liked to have saw it a little longer than that, but I think eventually it would have been knocked out anyway. Well, well I, I don't think yeah. there's any question. Yeah, Larry. Well, Lucero had a great style if uh, people were throwing coins into the ring and he was trying to pick them up. <laughs> But it was not it was not a style on this level of prize fighting. No, I thought Pacquiao looked very good too. But uh, give uh, Pacquiao credit because he took his time. He saw what the story was immediately, went to the body, and inevitably there was going to be a shot to the chin. And Pacquiao, the Filipino star, very comfortable in L.A. You can see there's the left hand that starts to Lucero standing up. That's, he never saw the punch coming. It was too low to even see it coming. He thought he was probably out of danger by getting that low. Gives you a pretty good idea as to how heavy are Manny Pacquiao's hands. Yes, and it's good focus and concentration too. And the referee stoppage was aimed at protecting Lucero from another shot because Lucero was a sitting duck target there for oh, Pacquiao. Yeah. Pacquiao was timing his movement, and in just a matter of time, he timed exactly where he figured he would move his head, and he moved right into position. So Manny Pacquiao stretches his record to 37 wins, two losses, one draw. How long will he remain in the 122-pound division? When will he move up and look for big money against much bigger names at 126? Well, whenever he does decide to move up, I would take him as a serious threat to all of the featherweights up there. All right, let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on this TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jose Cobian has to call a halt to the bout. The official time, 48 seconds of round number three. The winner by TKO victory and still the IBF junior featherweight champion of the world, Manny Pacquiao.